दो मिनट हाँ दो मिनट आई दो मिनट दो मिनट दो मिनट में कॉल कर कोई नहीं मैं देख लूँगा तो Ready, my king. Tell me, Lenakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. 
I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now! The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta!
I'll bring Xerxes your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter! Come, Persian! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! <laughs> Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crow speed on your eyes! You will fly, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, King, all of Sparta's sons will be slain for Xerxes! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> can be arranged! Not so much! No match for a Spartan! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. And Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today... ...was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow... ...is a day... ...the world... ...will... ...remember! Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this spear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. 
there's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <coughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know, man. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week, this shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah, 
Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka. It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. <sighs> Get for sparing you? No, 
manners. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Guess this is the vineyard. Hmm. Straight ahead. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in town. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Please, Marcos. You'll fuck this up like you fuck up everything else. You can't pay me back in grapes. You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Where can I find the race? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick.
I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F therapy. There's plenty of wine. Come on. Don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermisa the drawer at the cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know, Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right. Don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. Oh, there's a 
draft here. A crack in the wall? They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Sworn, I saw something. I need to find who's doing that. Coming from?
check this out. something over there. Bandits all along. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. All I can offer you is devotion, but I need your help. I'm poor. I have four hungry children and nothing else. I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. How can I repair it? Or sell my wares without it? Without you? I'm listening, child of Vermis. Oh, mighty God, I beg you, help me. Your prayer is... heard. You will find riches at your door sooner than you... expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes, now go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great God, I will. Well, if money is what she needs, the bandit stolen loot will do just fine.
No gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and Rahmi. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus bring his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I brought mine. That should be good enough. Ella. <laughs> I'll sneak up on the Malaikis. Let's go. Tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. <gasps> this tall grass will keep me hidden. Of course, my legs get away.
That Marcos is going to be next. Nothing. That's all. There's someone there. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? Don't get in! Let him have it! Got you! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Father. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> And what a feast he will be! No, not him! Take me instead! I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Bake him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. 
I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that.
Just like she said. The cart looks pretty worse for wear. Looks like these new baskets were off to market until the cart broke. This should help. Better them than the bandits. Sami, Doris will be at his shop. Cassandra, good to see you. Ah. What's that thief? He threw a clip this. Good to see you. Get your boats here! Good for the whole... F Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luis. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you are going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary. Or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachmi you owe. Face it. Once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. I told you, I've paid Marcos enough. I told you, I've paid Marcos enough. Hello. Let me know if you need anything else. We have the best prizes around.
Thank you. Hey, stop! That's my stuff! All right, all right. I'll pay you, just stop. Fine. The money is yours. Just leave. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Got a job to do, Cassandra? Oh. Hey. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. I'm the only one here, but maybe I can help you. <gasps> oh, Cassandra, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. Until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Luris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. We have no other choice now. We need a plan. That's what I do best! This will take more than the usual tricks up your sleeve. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand! Alexios!
Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mistheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Stalking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies!
They'll be on high alert here. should check that out. Sounds human. Better check it out. I don't see anything. Huh? A whistle? Did I imagine it? Huh? Who's there? Guess it came from somewhere else.
Cassandra, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? I looked in the caves. Spear isn't there. I had hoped to revive the sanctuary, but it is as Kefalus wills it. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Care of the bandit. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood! I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. Oh my kidding. This place never changes. Yeah! Away we go! Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west.
Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. should try to stay out of sight. Vi 
γιατί του το παιδεύεις. This area will be well defended.
cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Abandoned the camp I'm looking for. be spotted here.
some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. Ride, Phobos! Oh, look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? You really should have more faith in people. I said I'd get it done, and I did. I brought you some wood back to work with until the rest arrives. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos.
Ukevno ti vi vratim. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let him boss you around? He's fantasia, I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid, and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island? Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse, and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ugh. All right, I'll look into it. Pios e me perifesi. Tutto api con estil. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well? Your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. It's not a war. It's a pissing match. You know just how to hurt me, Cassandra. It's not that hard. Trust me. Think. What does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No! His obsidian eye! Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back.
find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marco says, it'll be hidden. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes.
be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. How long they've been here?
Why, Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around. Ha! <laughs> 